Hi again. Here we are to talk more about the weather here. And, uh, you know, we've got our app mostly working. Um, why don't we add a couple more features? So, you know, I have these extra fields here for minimum temperature, maximum clouds and precipitation, right? So where does that data come from? Well, first of all, let's find it here in, um, in Open Weather Map. So here I am. I'm at the Open Weather Map site. I'm going to go to their API. And we're using the current weather data API right now. So I'll click on that. And I'm going to scroll down a little ways and find their JSON um, parameters. So there's cities and cycle, uh, s several cities for ID, bulk downloading, weather parameters in API respond. So here you are. JSON example. So here's the data that they give us, you know, a sample of it. And then down here are kind of the parameters explained, okay? And what I'd like to do right now is get the humidity, okay? So humidity is under main um, humidity, okay? And it says percent here, so I'm assuming it's going to give us a number. I don't know if it's going to be a decimal number, like, you know, 39.7%, or if it'll just be 39%, like 0 to 100. You know, but uh, anyway, so we'll, we'll figure it out, right? So we've got this. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our um, our app, and I want to put the the humidity here, right, in this clouds. Actually, I want to put it in. Um, I guess I don't have one for humidity. You know what? Actually, I have one for for clouds. That's the one I wanted. So let's do clouds. So clouds is down here. It's clouds all, and then it's a percent again. So we'll do that one. Okay, sorry, and. Uh, and so I, I want to put that in here, right? So I've got a I've got a label for this, and if I work my way backwards, and I you know, and I can check it here. If I if I control click on the label, you can see I get this little box, and it shows me that I have a um, you know an outlet right here in View Controller called Clouds Label. Okay, and you know you can also view your your outlets if you click on the View Controller up here. Um, if you control click on this yellow um, circle there, it'll open up a list with all of the outlets, okay? And so as I hover over them, you can see um, clouds label is this one, right? And you can also view this if you click on, on the view controller and you go to the property inspector. If you go to the, um, the um, connections inspector, all of the properties are listed here also. Okay, so you can see them all there. And at the bottom, you'll see any IB actions that you have. Okay? So you want to be able to view that. And if I go to my view controller now, you can see that I've got, you know, clouds label right here. Okay? And so we can put some text into that if we can go and get the text from the internet, right? So, uh, so let's go back to weather now. Okay? So we'll go to our weather object here. And I want to give this a a clouds property, okay? And remember, clouds was a percentage, so either it's going to be an integer or a double. Let's take a chance and call it a double, okay? I think that'll be safer than int. If they give us a decimal number, then the int will might cause a problem. Um, so, you know, if they give us an int, it'll still work as a double, okay? So we'll do that. And, um, oops, let me go back here. And resize that, right? So there's our there's our clouds property, and then maybe I want to add the clouds to our init for our weather object. And you know this is getting pretty long; it's kind of going off the screen. So I'm actually just going to put a line return after every property name here, and then that'll be a little easier to read. So I'm going to add a, a comma here at the end, and then type in clouds colon is double, oops, double, and then over here I can say self.clouds equals clouds. Okay, so now we've set that. So now we'll have an error in our weather service because 
weather service now when it creates the weather object it doesn't include the clouds property let's do the same thing with the line returns here to um, make this a little easier to read so i just added a line return after every property we can even do it on that first one so it's got city name temperature description icon and then we're going to add clouds on the end let's get the clouds first the, the value for it so we'll say let clouds equal JSON bracket and then now we have to find the data in our object right so let's rearrange this here maybe I'll let me actually let me move this up here like that right so there's our property it's inside clouds all okay so what we'll do is we'll say um, clouds all okay and then remember this is a double so we're gonna tell Swifty that we want to convert that to a double okay so we'll say Jason clouds all double and then over here after the, uh, the exclamation point we'll put a comma type clouds colon is clouds and then we'll need the exclamation point because this will return a um, an optional and so we'll unwrap that optional right here maybe I'll do it like that so that reads kind of nicely right okay so there we go so let's um, oh yeah we got to do one last step right so here we're collecting the the data from JSON we're making a weather object that includes the new data and then we pass the weather object back to set weather in our delegate and so when I go to view controller Swift and I look at the set weather method here we'll need to set the cloud value in our label so what I'll do is I'll type in cloud label dot text and the cloud text um, the label actually the, the text property of the label expects a string right but our clouds property is a double so we'll have to um, use the quotation marks and the slash in parentheses to convert weather dot clouds into a string okay and there we go Maybe we can get rid of these print statements here now and clean that up and so this will look a little nicer and then we'll give it a test let's see um, we'll check here build our app and then we'll set the city let's do San Francisco and then there's a zero percent clouds okay and then um, you know it's just this field right here and then let's say um, I think Paris was cloudy today let's go to Paris click OK 44 percent clouds pretty cloudy in Paris right so anyway um, there you go let's try uh, let's try New York right I think New York was cloudy also so we'll click OK 64 percent clouds while wow, they had a lot of clouds in New York so anyway so that's kind of working if you would like to have the percent symbol on the end you can include that here also so you know here's our string and you know inside the parentheses here we're, we're printing the variable so if if outside the parentheses we put the percent sign it'll just print the percent sign into our field okay we'll give it a quick test So it loads up. We'll go back to uh, Paris, click OK, and it says 44%. Okay? And you could use, you know, if you really wanted to, you could use the NS number formatter, or there's a lot of other things you could do, right? But anyway, so that, that shows you how to add another property. And you could, you could follow that same procedure to add any of these properties to your, your weather object or your weather app, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope that's helpful.